Mully paid $69.25 for four movie tickets. What was the approximate price of each ticket? Run your answer to the nearest cent. And we're asked to write an equation and then solve the equation to answer the question. Let's let the variable p equal the price for one ticket. So if Molly bought four tickets for $69.25, the equation is four times p equals $69.25, or four p equals 69.25. And now to solve for p, we divide both sides of the equation by four. Simplifying, four divided by four simplifies the one. One times p is p. p is equal to 69.25 divided by four. And now we need to find this quotient and round to the nearest cent. Let's set this up as long division. Because the divisor is a whole number, we move the decimal up into the quotient and divide like we normally do. We first determine how many fours in six, which is one. One times four is four. Subtract, the difference is two. Bring down the next digit. Determine how many fours in 29, which is seven. Seven times four is 28. Subtract. The difference is one. Bring down the next digit. Determine how many fours in 12, which is three. Three times four is 12. Subtract, the difference is zero. Bring down the next digit. Determine how many fours in five, which is one. One times four is four. Subtract, the difference is one. Now we can't stop here because we're told to round to the nearest ascent, which means we need to go out one more decimal place or out to the thousandths place value. And therefore, we place another zero to the right of the five in the dividend and bring the digit down. And now determine how many fours in 10, which is two. Two times four is eight. Subtract, the difference is two. But now we can stop because there's a two in the third decimal place or the thousandths place value. We round down to approximately $17.31 or 17.31. which means the approximate price for each ticket was $17.31. I hope you found this helpful.